All right, this is one last midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Valheim. And today we're going to talk about fishing. Fishing, fishing, fishing. Trying to get fish, how to get fish, where to get fish, what to do with fish. <laughs> Everything you want to know about Valheim fishing. I hope you guys enjoy the video. In order to do any kind of fishing in Valheim, you're going to first need to find the trader. So he's going to be located somewhere on your map with this little bag. And then Haldor will have the fishing rod for 350 coin. And then you're also going to need fishing bait. And that's going to cost you 10 coin for 50. If for some reason you don't want to do this, there is another way. If you're not opposed to using mods, you can get yourself Sills fish food mod, which will allow you to craft the fishing rod and then also fishing bait. It also gives you a couple other different recipes. Uh, this mod is kind of interesting. Uh, I like the addition of having the option to be able to craft a fishing rod and, and be able to create your own fishing bait. It seems kind of natural to me. Uh, there's other additional recipes inside of this mod that I would like to be able to turn off. But currently, right now, the configuration file does not allow you to turn them off. Hopefully, in the future, Sil will update his mod so that you can uh, shut off the recipes that you don't want. Once you have your fishing rod and bait, you are going to go look for fish. And so you're looking for an area like this where you can see fish along the shore. Uh, somewhere that is uh, relatively in a safe area. You can fish pretty much anywhere you want to fish that there is fish. But I highly suggest probably doing it in the meadows or some protected area in the Black Forest. That way you're not worried about getting killed off while you're just enjoying your fishing time. Fishing is relatively simple. You just equip your fishing rod, hold down the left mouse button to cast, and then the right mouse button to reel in. And as you reel in, uh, fish will be attracted to your bait. And it's kind of just a hit and a miss. Once you get a fish landed, uh, just hold down the right mouse button to reel it in. Remember that everything uses stamina in the game, so catching fish is not any different. So before your fish, make sure you have enough stamina. Once you catch your fish, it'll be in your inventory and you'll collect fish. Typically, you collect anywhere from one to three fish, depending on the size of the fish and what type of fish there are. There are currently four types of fish in the game, varying from sizes and quantity that you get from the fish. When casting out, I highly recommend casting short. Don't, don't cast for a super long distance. You can cast for a super long distance, but there really isn't any kind of point to doing that because the fish will slowly be attracted to your bait. And if they're not attracted to your bait, just hit left click again to recast. If you cast too far or you don't want to deal with fishing anymore, just put away your fishing pole and it'll automatically reel in your bait and your line. Otherwise, it's a fun little mini game that uh, is pretty enjoyable as opposed to other mini games that I've found. Uh, they're either too complex or not complex enough. This one is kind of just the right amount of complexity for fishing. It doesn't take too long before you start getting a decent amount of fish uh, ready to be used inside of a couple different recipes. Fish can be used for two different things. You can just cook the fish directly up on the cooking rack, which will give you cook fish for 45 health, 25 stamina with a duration of 1200 seconds. Or you can create fish wraps with your cook fish by using barley flour. Now, barley is something that you find later on the plane, so it's more of an end game type food, but the fish wraps give you 60 health, 90 stamina and last for 2400 seconds. Cooked fish is a great early tier food. It's pretty easy to catch once you have the fishing pole and the fishing bait. And it doesn't take too long before you have an abundance of fish that you can use while you're out and about adventuring. Fishing is not the only way that you can find fish. After and during a pretty nasty storm, every once in a while when the waves are high, a fish will be deposited on the shore. And you can easily just pick up the fish and collect fish that way. But this really only happens during pretty nasty storms and when the waves are really, really high. But you can occasionally get fish this way. There is also a way to catch more than one fish at a time. If you get lucky and you happen to find a very dense school of fish, like this school of fish here as an example, 
You can cast your line out and drag in a fish. Once you catch a fish, there's an opportunity when you're reeling it in to pull in other fish onto the shore like this. For an example, here's this fish just happened to go up on the shore with the other fish. If you're quick enough, if you mash the E button while he's up there, there is a possibility for you to be able to get more than one fish at a time. Now, ultimately, I think this is a defect because I think that the fish are reacting to the bait. And even though the bait happens to be in another fish's mouth, they're still attracted to it as you're reeling it in. That's the only thing that I can think of. I, I have no idea why this happens. But you really have to have kind of a dense population of fish in order to pull this off. And it's tricky because once you do get them on shore like this, in this case, you have to mash the E button really fast to be able to pick up the fish. Now let's talk about fish farms. Now there are a couple contraptions that you can make to kind of do a fish farm. I'll be honest with you, both of them are not very effective, but they do kind of work. The first one is uh, I've seen and I haven't done it myself, but is creating kind of like a pathway. You essentially build out a dock and, on two sides and then put down doors and you wrangle up the fish by swimming in the water and guiding the fish to this area so that you can then turn around and close the doors and get the fish up on shore. Again, a little time consuming and actually you don't really save a lot of time uh, because you're you're having to swim in the water and, and get the fish into this specific area. The other thing you can make is what's called a weir. And all I've done here is put out a pier and then put down 26 degree roof tiles. And as the fish swim in front of it, the waves will push the fish up the tiles and eventually they'll get stuck on the tile. And you can see it kind of went underneath the tile, this fish. But once they're stranded on a particular area, then you can just easily just pick them up. Uh, this is, it's decent. You know, it's not, like I said, either of these fish farms are not really that great. What you can try to do is you can try to entice the fish into this area by putting down some bait and, you know, dragging it up. And then hopefully the fish will kind of come up this way or a wave will push them up this way. Uh, but this is another way that you can kind of get fish without having to uh, spend so much time fishing or, or hooking the fish. Again, uh, it's only going to get you a couple extra fish here or there. Either way, doing the door technique or doing the weir technique, the fish farm is not that great. But it's fun to do if you've got nothing else to do in Valheim. You might as well create a fish farm. Here's a fish that had kind of wandered up. And eventually he's going to get stranded up here just like this. And you'll be able to pick him up. They have to be stranded for a particular period of time before they actually get stranded. But like I said, if you use this in conjunction with your standard fishing, if I'm fishing off of this as a dock or I am fishing over here to try to entice them to come into the weir, then, you know, you'll get a couple extra fish here and there. All right, so that's it for me on my fishing guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.